And our next speaker is Jack Hu, who was Vice President for Research at the University of Michigan. He oversees U of M's Office of Research, which fosters interdisciplinary research, develops and implements research policy, and provides central administrative services in need of faculty research and economic outreach. U of M also signed an agreement with Guangdong Province as well, and we'll hear about that. So please welcome Jack Hu. Thank you, Carol. Thank you, Lisa, for inviting me. Good evening, everyone. Uh, today is the 15th day of the Chinese New Year, so that's the Lantern Festival. Uh, right? So I think that we are gathered here to celebrate the Chinese New Year and the festival. So I wish everyone a happy, uh, healthy, and prosperous Chinese New Year. Thanks to the great leadership of our governor, uh, to Council General Hong Lei. Of course, we already mentioned the party secretary, uh, Hu Zhonghua, and also uh, Governor Ma Xin Rei. So the collaboration between Guangdong and the state of Michigan really has uh, developed in the last year. Uh, so the collaboration including not only economical, but cultural, educational, and also scientific collaborations. So the University of Michigan is very happy to be part of this uh, sister state, sister province collaboration. As Carol mentioned, we signed actually a number of agreements in the last year, and all those collaboration has begun. So I will give you a few examples of the collaboration that the University of Michigan has with the province of Guangdong. So we enter into a collaboration with Frank Capital Management. That's a venture investing company in Shenzhen in the development of a unique facility that will test connected and automated cars. We have a unique facility at the University of Michigan that's called the MCD. So Frank Capital wanted a MCD type of facility to be built in southern China. So we have started the collaboration in that. In addition, we will also do collaborative research in robotics and automated driving. So mobility is a very important societal challenge. So we think what we do here in improving traffic, improving safety, uh, safety will be equally applicable in China. A second collaboration is with Southern University of Science and Technology. So science, engineering, and social sciences. So faculty and students will collaborate together. We also have students and faculty who spend time in Shenzhen in entrepreneurship programs. You know, Shenzhen has a great ecosystem where if you have an idea, you can bring various prototypes together and try it out before you can start a company and do manufacturing. In addition, we're also exploring other ideas in biomedical engineering and other collaborations. So all those build on many years of long-term collaboration that the University of Michigan had with China. You know, this year we're celebrating the 200-year anniversary of the University of Michigan. We have many events, but one particular event I think many of you will be interested in is the 45th year anniversary celebration of the ping pong diplomacy between China and the United States. So in 1971, the U.S. ping pong team went to Beijing to play, and then in 1972, the Chinese national team came to the United States, and their first stop was at the University of Michigan. So on October 21st, we will have a ping pong game, I hope it's in the Chrysler Arena, where the Chinese national teams and some of you hope will play with our national team. Guangdong and Shenzhen uh, are two miracles in economic development uh, in the past 30 years, as many of you heard. The state of Michigan, of course, is a uh, known manufacturing and automotive innovation hub. Today, it's a leader in the development and deployment of autonomous cars. The University of Michigan is a premier research institution around the world. We host 2,700 Chinese students, but we also host many visiting scholars and researchers uh, throughout the year who are doing research and scholarly exchange here. So we continue to expand our relationship with China, with Guangdong, 
So we think there are many ways where we can join hands together in developing innovation that will benefit our citizens in the States, in Guangdong, China, and also for humanity. So thank you all very much uh, for inviting me. I wish you a great dinner and very happy new year. Thank you so much.